ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Welcome to the Late Late Show. I am your host, TV Craig Ferguson. Please, 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 enough of your completely genuine enthusiasm. <laughs> enough of your warmth. That it's almost as if you had been coached by some form of professional warm-up comedian. <laughs> and I use the word professional loosely, of course. <laughs> hey. Back in your seat, underpaid employee. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's not underpaid. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Why? I'll tell you why, girlfriend. It's Friday! Yeah. <laughs> hey! Do you know what's making me excited tonight? Not, not the fact that it's Friday. Not the fact that I'm wearing my special sexy slash comfortable underpants. No. Ooh, two words for you, girl. Snug fit. <laughs> Meow. No, here's what's making me excited. Scientists. There, that's what's making me excited. Scientists are making me excited. Using a special remote control sexotron. <laughs> they're excited. Quick, turn up the sexotron. Ah! Oh, scientists, thank you. Uh, you're welcome, experimental guy. No, scientists. Scientists have found the world's oldest tree. Yep. <laughs> I was trying to build it up. Uh, but, uh, the sides of <laughs> the oldest tree in the world, it's in Sweden. I was wondering. Yep, it's right there in Sweden. It's more than 10,000 years old, this tree. It's amazing. Can we see a picture of that tree? There you go. Uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> also, there are reports today that the Russian leader, Vladimir Putin, I speak Russian, Vladimir Putin, He's separated from his wife, and he's now dating a 24-year-old Russian gymnast. <laughs> Lucky him, those guys have got very strong thighs. <laughs> I'm kidding, Russian assassins. I, uh... <laughs> Do you know what movie opens today? I'm very excited about this. 88 Minutes with Al Pacino. I know what it's about. It's Al Pacino in the movie has 88 minutes to live. How do I know this? Because in the commercial, Al Pacino says, I've got 88 minutes to live! <laughs> Hoo-ha! I smell a woman! <laughs> Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! <laughs> For this evening's monologue, the part of Al Pacino will be played by Larry King. <laughs> What other movie opens today? Oh, this is the movie I want. The, the, the movie that opens today, Forbidden Kingdom. Oh, yes. Or as I call it, Forbidden Kingdom. <laughs> it's like I, for the Lombada, I call it the Forbidden Dance. <laughs> it is so forbidden, I cannot demonstrate it to you. <laughs> no, Forbidden Kingdom uh, stars Jet Li and Jackie Chan. Oh. I know. <laughs> exactly, that's a movie. Jet Li and Jackie Chan, what could go wrong? That's a movie. I'm guessing it's got some fighting in it. Because when Jackie Chan and Jet Li do a movie together, it's not going to be a romance. It's not going to be a stuffy English drama. I say, are those ninjas on my lawn? <laughs> yes, kiss me, Jet Li. <laughs> do you want me to kiss you gently? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass. Certainly, Lord Percy. The end. No. <laughs> Forbidden Kingdom is a, 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 is a movie. It's probably, it's going to be great, this movie, because it's about my two favourite things. Fighting and time travel. <laughs> <laughs> They're amongst my favourite things. I did a lot of fighting growing up, man. I was always getting into fights, punching and kicking and stuff. And then I'd have to leave the house, go to school. <laughs> I also did a lot of time travelling. Now, scientists say time travel is impossible, but how do they know? Because I had a device that sent me hurtling through time. I call it Tequila. <laughs> tequila. 
I would drink this magic potion and wake up three days in the future. Oh, where am I, trusty dumpster? Get me home! <laughs> Eat the worm? That's the least of it. I would actually love to time travel really far into the future, see all the, you know, fantastic innovations, the flying cars, the personal jetpacks, the women who don't need to cuddle, all of these things that scientists say will happen one day. But I wouldn't know how to make anything work, though. I'd be behind the times. I'd be like John McCain with an iPhone or something. Hey, can you get me Teddy Roosevelt? Operator! Hacking a bush. Time travel, I think time travel into the past is impossible. Because if you could travel into the past, then you'd be able to go back and fix stuff. Which means people from the future would be here right now fixing stuff. And then this would be the best that they could do. <laughs> You're welcome, people who enjoy on a Friday night. <laughs> from the past, come back. Dude, that is so awesome. <laughs> Do you know if I could go back in time, uh, I, I would probably go back to probably about five minutes ago, well, just before I came out, I'd <laughs> talk about something else. Uh, or maybe just to this morning, I'd call in sick. Um, no, I'm having a lovely time. Do you know what? There's been some great movies about uh, time travel. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Keanu Reeves and that other guy, the... <laughs> Gary Reeves and Steve Gutenberg or something. Anyway, they... I don't know, M Morrissey. Or anyway, they travel through time. Not Morrissey, perhaps. But they, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. I, uh, no, Keanu Reeves and the other guy, you know, dude, they travel through uh, time in a phone booth. And I, I have actually had dreams where I was locked in a phone booth with Keanu Reeves. <laughs> We had a sexcellent adventure. <laughs> Thank you, Harvard. I, uh... <laughs> the good writers, still on strike. I... In the movie, the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, uh, they said the word awesome a lot. And I've noticed I am saying that word a lot recently. I'm saying awesome. I never used to, but now I'm say it's because I've become an American citizen. I'm saying awesome, I like NASCAR, I've started brushing my teeth. Where will it end? <laughs> God bless America! All right, we have to take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Welcome back! Welcome back, welcome back, my naughty monkeys. <laughs> it's kind of like sexy monkeys, wasn't it? Welcome back, sexy monkeys. Oh! <laughs> does this show suck, really? <laughs> but we don't care, that's right. You know what, we're the Sanjaya of late night. That's <laughs> we suck, but it's fun. <laughs> what was I talking about? Time travel, time travel, uh, time travel. The first person uh, to ever write about time travel was um, H.G. Wells. I don't know what the H.G. stood for. Hugely gorgeous, I think. <laughs> uh, his name was Herbert. Herbert, Herbert Gorgeous. He wrote, the, uh, he wrote the book The Time Machine. This was a book that said in the future beautiful people would live above the ground and ugly people would live below the ground. <laughs> Enjoy the fresh air while you can, Trump. <laughs> you heard me. You heard me, I said it. You know what? H.G. Wells was a great writer, but he wrote science fiction. Science fiction writers don't get any respect in the literary community. The science fiction writer is like a talk show host. There's no respect, there, there's, there's no money, and they're always searching for intelligent life amongst the stars. <laughs> science fiction's always been important to technology, though. Scientists uh, have said they were inspired by stuff they saw in Star Trek when they were kids. Like cell phones were based on communicators from Star Trek. Space Shuttle, they, 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 they got bad Scottish accents on TV. <laughs> Thank you, Scotty. <laughs> All right, we're very busy tonight. I can't be mucking around. Uh, we, do we have time for an email? 
Yes, it's oh, email yeah, yeah. time. Email time. Email time okay. Okay. Put down your ganja. It's time to hey, check the mail. Yeah, man. Yes, it's email. Email. Uh, filling time with music while I decide what to do. What's that song? I don't know. What was that song? Email me and we'll find out. By the way, if you want to email us at the show, I forgot to tell everybody that. I said, yeah, we still get emails, but, but if you want to email the show, it's uh, craig at the internet slash google.com. <laughs> Yes, all right. Um, mm -hmm. No, I don't mind that. Oh, here's one. This is from Amanda in Coon Rapids in Minnesota. Minnesota. Uh, she says, Dear Cuddly Craig. Hey, you're ready. Um, Dear Cuddly Craig, my 20th birthday is on Saturday. Will you be the stripper at my party? <laughs> oh, look. There will be cake. <laughs> well, I, I was going to say no, but... There's really going to be cake? <laughs> how much stripping are we talking about? <laughs> and how much cake? <laughs> Is there cake involved in the nudity? <laughs> Is there nudity involved in the cake? <laughs> uh, yes, I'll do it. <laughs> really, I'm going to be there. <laughs> I'm going to be the naked middle-aged white guy chasing the 20-year-old girls around the party. <laughs> Pretending it's for cake. <laughs> You're welcome, penal system. <laughs> I wonder if there really will be cake. <laughs> if it's ca you know my favorite cake? Carrot cake. You know why? No carrots really in it at all. <laughs> well, it tastes like... The, 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 and carrot cake, the thing with carrot cake is you, it's called carrot cake, but it doesn't taste like carrots. There's carrots in it. But you take away all the taste of the carrots. It's a bit like when people are, uh, enjoy fish and they say, this is great fish, it doesn't taste fishy at all. <laughs> but people only like fish if it doesn't taste like fish. I know! <laughs> Isn't the world absurd? Uh, all right, this is uh, from uh, Roxy in, uh, <laughs> in Potomac, Potomac, Maryland. And the first time I said Potomac, I said Potomac. <laughs> Potomac, Potomac, come over here and prepare the, the uh, th sex thing that the scientists have got. Right away, I am Potomac. <laughs> it sounds like an Irish superhero. Half potato, half man. <laughs> ha ha! There you are! Oh ho! Wee hee! Oh, take that, evil villains! Hee hee hee! I'm Potomac! <laughs> Dear Craig, uh, says Roxy, when you go to that White House dinner, what happens if the President doesn't laugh at your jokes? Oh, yeah, I'm hosting that White House Correspondents' <laughs> Dinner. Hey, you know what? I did an interview today with one of the uh, papers in Washington, and they said, they, one of the questions they asked me, because I'm going to host this thing, they said, now, uh, do you want to be funny or do you want to be liked? <laughs> it's like, are they mutually exclusive? Is there... <laughs> Liked. <laughs> Anyway, what happens if the president doesn't laugh at your jokes? Oh, you know, he'll be just like everybody else. <laughs> he'll blend right in with the other surly, powerful bastards that are there, all going... <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> you know, we should get Potomac to kill him. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back, everybody. CBS, anything to play on TV. <laughs> do, 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 doesn't really have a tune. 
but it costs you next to nothing to put it on television. <laughs> You know what I'm in the mood for tonight? Apart from that lady <laughs> and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm in the mood for some more email. Do we have time for any more email? Yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'm glad. Thank you. Bad cartoon drawing of David Bowie. <laughs> All right, we got some emails uh, coming in. I, read it. I get so much emails during the week. Sometimes on a Friday, I like to get through the backlog. You <laughs> that sounds quite dirty, doesn't it? I got to get through the backlog. All right, um, this is from uh, Mika in Milwaukee. All right, uh, Mika in Milwaukee says, Dear Craig, what would you do if zombies attacked? Run. <laughs> There's only been one movie that had fast zombies 28 days later, right? That was the only movie with fast zombies. And that, they weren't really zombies. It was kind of a viral infection attack. But real zombies are like, like, we're coming to get you very slowly. And I'll be like, all right. <laughs> well, you know, when you get within about a foot, I'll, you know. <laughs> Oh, you're so terrifying with your very slow walking. <laughs> you know, I've said this in the show before. You know, zombies, they eat human flesh. Everybody knows that. But they don't poop. That's impossible. So I, I have to say that push comes to shove, I don't believe in zombies. You gotta believe in zombies, Craig. If you don't believe in zombies, they cease to exist. Oh, I don't know if I should. Believe in the zombies. Okay, I believe. Ah. <laughs> I believe in fairies. <laughs> uh, do we have time for more emails? No, all right, I'll do another one then. Uh, this is from, uh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, this is from uh, the same person? No, I don't want to do that either. Um, this is from a junior in Santa Maria in California. Junior. I don't think that's his real name. Or her real name. It's one of those names you don't know if it's a, a man or a woman. Junior, it's like Susan. You don't know a man or a woman. <laughs> Uh, you don't in Hollywood anyway, I tell you that. I, uh, uh, Junior says, uh, Dear Craig, do you... Santa Maria, by the way, where Junior is from, has a fabulous airport. Tiny little airport. I flew in there once, landed, everything was great. <laughs> Not remotely interesting, but factually correct. <laughs> Junior says, uh, Dear Craig, do you have any weird habits? Yeah. I'm doing one of them right now. <laughs> you can't see, the desk is in the way. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. of the great perks of having your own TV show, even if it is on in the middle of the night, is you get to see sides of yourself that very few people ever get to see. Like, how many of you have seen behind your ears? Look at that, it's behind my ear, look at that. So that's why my mother wanted me to clean them. Look, just like, you know what that's like? That's like standing behind Prince Charles. Isn't it? <laughs> I, I say, aren't you lovely? Mmm, <laughs> yes, my wife's a bit horsey. <laughs> what, I didn't say anything. Did you see my lips moving? No. <laughs> I think there's some kind of crossed broadcast. 
Because that happens. That's the technical term for it, by the way, crossed broadcast. Don't try and figure it out. I never could. My first guest tonight uh, stars in the new uh, film Forgetting Sarah Marshall, which is in theatres now. Take a look. Oh, please welcome the lovely Kristen Bell, everybody. Kristen Bell. Do you want the little legs thing? Of course. Huh? Well, a welcome. Booster? Did yeah, you there, I've got a booster, booster down there if your legs are short. I keep yeah. it in case Tom Cruise is ever on the show. Do you want yeah, it? I want it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <gasps> a stool, a foot stool. Oh, yes, a I foot stool. There you go. <laughs> That's how I get you. Woo! That's excellent. Thank yes, you. it is. Would you like a back rub? Absolutely. <laughs> Are you, dear? I'm excellent. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, you look excellent. I, I no love complaints. this look. Thanks. It's is that kind of chain mail or something? It's something. Or? No, it's just sort of, it's hard, it's sequins. You know, if you wore that to a Renaissance fair, you'd be very popular. Though it looks a bit chain maily. It looks oh, a bit. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're like some kind of sexy it's, knight. It's rough and tough. Yeah, it is a bit rough and tough. <laughs> How are you doing? How's the? Uh, did you enjoy making this uh, series? Because it was shot in Hawaii. Wasn't oh my it? goodness, so much! Yeah, Hawaii yeah. was beautiful, and it was. It didn't really feel like work because it's Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. So. And, uh, do you like the spam? They eat a lot of spam there. The what? Spam, spam. It's a. It's a kind of prepared meat. I know what it is. I'm not interested. Wait, well, oh, what's I'm not this? Interested in that. What's it this? comes out of a can. That's it's like, so, yeah, yeah. Soup it comes out be, of a can. Yeah, it's tasty. But, mm, not meat. Uh, meat? No meat from a can? But the, the texture. Excuse me, where the... did you join Al Qaeda? I, d <laughs> I just think that it's frightening because I, I remember before I became a vegetarian, I was forced to. Oh, you're to eat. a vegetarian, of yeah, course. But, Ooh, sorry. I was forced to eat. Spread. Oh, ham spread. And I wasn't, I'm not into the ham spread. Well, that's because ham doesn't naturally spread right? on its own. And I don't think, you know, whatever's in spam. It naturally goes into the can. No, it does. What part of the animal is it? Um, the part that it doesn't want anymore. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm finished with that bit. Put it, put it in a can and give it to the humans. You can take it. Yeah. <laughs> How could you be in Hawaii for all that time and not eat spam? You know, I'm, I, I loved Hawaii, but the food wasn't awesome. Uh, uh, it was difficult uh, uh, to eat there. But there's pineapples and yeah, coconuts. Yeah, the fruit and stuff was good, but yeah, yeah. The, um, I don't know if the selection, maybe it was just a lot of meat. I didn't eat very well. Do you, you eat fish? No, I've never had fish. Really? You never I had... could be allergic to it, Craig. You might be. You'll never know until Who you knows, try. right? Have a shrimp. No. One shrimp. I don't want to peel anything's outer shell off before I eat it. I can't and then pluck uh, you, the you, you don't know what you're I'm missing, by the way. So peeling the outer shell off and then getting in there, I'm telling you. I can't that's do the it. way to look. I don't mind if other people do it, but I can't do it. And the whole right. the crack in the lobster thing, it just I don't know. I don't too like much you know, I, I must admit I don't eat lobster. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're shocked. But you like shrimp, but you don't like lobster. That's but okay. I, no, I don't particularly like I'm shrimp. I just don't want the shrimp it. lobby coming after me. No, they won't. I'll make sure they don't. All right, well, no, I lobster, I won't, I won't eat a lobster. Why? Well, they mate for life. They do? Yes, they do. They walk across oh. the, uh, the ocean bed holding their little claws together. No, wait, you're afraid of crabs. About okay. You. Because yeah, last yeah, time, okay. I'm afraid of crabs. I held a spider crab up to your face, and you I made me wet your pants like this like, much. Yes, that's right. When Wolfgang Puck yeah. was on, he was making crabs. Yeah, and, I was and like, it was a big, you know, and you know, there is a, a, a crab off the coast of Japan that has a, an 18 foot wingspan. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have wings, but I know what you mean. The spider crab. <laughs> Spider crab, I know. I keep my eye out for them. Yeah, in case any rogue ones come come my way, <laughs> they then they click and click in here. You know the thing about crabs? They always look like they're like they've got high heels on as well. I yeah, think. they're very dainty. I... So that that makes me like them a little right. more, actually. That I got. Did you? You know what I did when I was in Hawaii? What? I went on a helicopter ride. I went on a helicopter ride. There you did are. Did you get there? to drive it? Drive the helicopter? I would never drive a helicopter. I drove the helicopter. Really? Is that what they call it? Driving a helicopter? <laughs> Probably not. Right. But I did it and, it, and I was the co-pilot, and I had my friends in the back. I took four of my girlfriends, one of whom threw up. And then this lovely man, Josh, was uh, the pilot. And halfway through, and you know, we have all these like walkie-talkie things, and he's playing the, the theme song to Top Gun, and we're just like rocking out. And halfway through, he's like, Kristen, do you want to drive? Or maybe he said fly. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, and... <laughs> 
I reach over and I grab the Did remote. he tell you that was how he controlled the <laughs> helicopter? Because that's not how you control the helicopter. Well, move said, it that way, move it that way. No! He said, be gentle. And it was the big remote. And I leaned over and I, and I jerked a little bit. And that's when my girlfriend kind of upchucked. And then I guess I was a little too jerky because he said to me... <laughs> Make love to it. Don't. Oh! Oh! It was a dirty helicopter ride. That's awesome. <laughs> so did you learn? How to drive the copter? You know, I, I can fly a plane, but I can't do helicopters. I've never done hel helicopters. So you probably do have to make love to it. Planes? You got your... Yeah. You I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We can cut out. We can cut out. You got your license to fly planes the same weekend as you became a citizen, right? No, I, I soloed an airplane the same oh. weekend. I, I, I'd soloed before, but never in an airplane. So I, that was when <laughs> I... Fair enough. You You've gotten filthy since you became a movie star. I'm when sorry. you were on TV, when you were Veronica Mars, it was all la la la. Now look at you, <laughs> chainmail dress and body mouth. <laughs> And because you're a movie star now, you've got to be careful. I'm not. You are so too, or whatever not you yet. say. Yeah? Oh, when the movie comes out? Oh, by the way. Thanks. Very nice. Thanks. How, do, they, uh, do they flash little electric things across They're video them? cameras. Re oh, that would be cool. Yeah. I'm recording my life. Really? Would yeah. you do a reality show? No. Why not? Because I don't, I, um, I get nervous when I have to be me. I don't mind being an actor, but like, and I'm comfortable with you. Well, yeah, I was going to say, who are you now? Because you... <laughs> we'll never know, Craig. Yeah, I don't know you, but you don't know me, biatch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you didn't have to go through all that hullabaloo getting your citizenship. I would have married you. <laughs> You know, here's the thing, it would never work out because we like each other. <laughs> and for me, that doesn't seem to be the way to go. No. I... So is the big, the big premiere is tonight for the movie, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, tonight, right after Very this. Very exciting. Well, no, before, before this, because this is live. Right before, I, don't know, I so... just came from the premiere. Right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Who else has got? Everybody's going to be there. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah. You're going to. Uh, it's very nice. I'm, I'm very excited for you. Are, are, are you going to do anything afterwards? Uh, no, just go to bed. Really? You'll be too excited, I think. No. No? No. Did, did, I can't you... stay up very late. Oh. I'm kinda, I mean, I'm not. That's um... great for people who enjoy this show. <laughs> but I your show. I TiVo your show. You do? But if I, don't, if I don't get enough sleep, my eye gets lazy. My eye goes a bit wobbly when but I. But I, I have a wonky eye. Really? Yeah. Look closer. You know, that's a tick when you, when you don't sleep enough, but I right. have a wonky eye. My mom had, uh, she had a lazy eye and had it corrected when she was young, and she passed it How do you correct a lazy eye? Come on now, buck up. Is yeah, that what you do? a lot of discipline. Right. But I, she can cover her eye and then open it back up, and it's looking one direction, but I have separate control. Whoa, okay. Yeah, yeah, let's see some of this. I knew, I knew I was the man to make you do that. <laughs> but when, I, when I'm filming, I gotta be real careful because if we're doing a scene like this and I'm trying to look at you, I mean, oftentimes I'll tell the director of photography, please be careful because she doesn't always come. Really? Sometimes she's just hanging out over here and I'm like trying to get it. And the, I Are your eyes ladies then? This you have lady one, yeah, eyes? Wonky and Night Owl. Oh, Because nice. Wonky uh, wakes up later and goes to bed earlier and Night Owl is just pretty much always rip roaring ready to go. Like I wake up like I'm wearing a monocle or something. She's awake and then I get in the makeup trailer and this one's like saggy McGee. Very few we people name their eyes, you know that. Track, we all have yeah, everybody has their idiosyncrasies, yeah. but naming your eyes? Yeah. And anyway, that one was Weepy McGee. What was that? That was like well, wonky, wonky night eye and then and then it was and Sleepy said, McGee. Yeah, Sleepy McGee because the eyelid gets heavy. But I have to have a code word because thankfully people behind the camera care about you. So if I'm doing a scene and it's really late at night, which oftentimes you shoot very late, sure. and I'm looking at you and I start to go and I'm just like, Craig, yeah. and I'm doing the scene and then somebody, like the, the camera guy will yell out, wonky, wonky, and I'll go, oh, wait, wait. And then I just got to concentrate <laughs> and I'm back. So if we ever see uh, you in a movie, we should listen for someone going, wonky, wonky, yeah. when you're in the middle of the You can look for it. I guarantee it's been captured on film. We'll all look for it. It's lovely to see you again. You. Please be here every week. Okay. I think every week is the way to go. Okay. The lovely Kristen Bell, everybody. We'll be right back. Thank you. Woo Welcome back, everyone. 
Welcome back, my frisky little ponies. Oh, 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 oh. This lovely gentleman in the orbit. You just gave me another man a soft toy. <laughs> Where I come from, mister, that means we're engaged. I... <laughs> look, it's a frisky little pony, and they, look, they've done it up to make it look like it's some kind of sexual deviant. <laughs> and then, at the back here, look. It's a little flag of Canada. And I can't figure out if it's a Canadian sexually deviant stuffed toy or the stuffed toy doesn't like Canada, so it poops on its flag. What is that? I'll put it right there until we can, you know, call the authorities. Anyway, my... My next guest stars in Rules of Engagement, which is Mondays at 9.30 on CBS. Take a look. Can you even say that on CBS? Because if you can, I'm saying it from now on. <laughs> Take that, censors. You know what I think of you, censors? Your ass faces. <laughs> Oliver Hudson, everybody! Hi, Oliver. How you doing, man? You ripping you, it up? I, I'm ripping it up. We don't need this. No. Uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you? You know, I'm all right. Oh, I've run out of questions to ask you. I wish I hadn't run that. <laughs> did you, uh, did you, uh, are you getting any more sleep yet? The last time you were here, the baby was just born. Uh, yeah, he's seven and a half months now. Oh, and, uh, you know, a little more sleep. Still waking up at 6, 6.30 in the morning. But that's what time people get I know, but he has his little moments where he'll wake up at just two for absolutely no reason. And I go in there, I'm like, what are, you, what are you doing, man? This is not your time to wake up. Go back to sleep. You say it like that? I do. <laughs> because he doesn't understand me anyway. I mean, right. whatever, however well, I talk to him, he's not going to understand tone. me. He'll understand your tone. Well, you I, have to pick go, him, like, I pick him up and I'm like, okay, sure, I go back to sleep. Blah, blah, blah. Put him down, starts crying again. Pick him up, go back to sleep now, please go back to sleep. Yeah. And he doesn't, so I'm like, okay, you know what, buddy, deal with it. I'm going to bed. <laughs> What's his name again? Wilder. Wilder. Wilder Brooks Hudson. Well, that's a great name, isn't it? Yeah, you could be cool. an outlaw with a name like that. <laughs> yeah, or a writer or something, but you know. No, no, I, I, Wilder, no, I, like, I like the idea of Wilder Brooks Hudson. <laughs> did you say Tail, that? Yeah, no, it's like Wilder Brooks Hudson. <laughs> Tamed the American West. With, he blamed it all on his father's callousness. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Now, what else have you been up to? Have you now doing the lobster fishing? You were lobster fishing when you Yeah, were... no, the season's closed. Oh, the season's closed? <laughs> Is it like TV? There's like pilot lobster season and they're, then... Well, they're still there. They don't, they don't move, but you just can't hunt them anymore. Right. Well, who makes those rules? Uh, you know, the ocean people. <laughs> well, the people who live in Atlantis? <laughs> we, the ocean people, have decided. Neptune. <laughs> Neptune and Neptune. Aquaman. Neptune. We no longer will. We will not allow you to hunt yes, our lobster. The ocean people. We get a call. I got a call from Neptune. He's like, he can't hunt anymore. So I'm right. no longer hunting, hunting lobster. Well, what are you going to hunt now? Deer. Oh, no, I'm I, just kidding. No, no, no. They, they, are, they are not in the ocean anyway. No. If you could have a deer that swam underwater... <laughs> I'd you, hunt it. I, I'd hunt it. <laughs> you could go hunting on the back of it. You could ride that deer holding on to his secret underwater <laughs> and hunt antlers lobster. and hunt lobster, scooping them up into your sack of lobsters. <laughs> That would be amazing. Yeah, it would right? be interesting to yeah. see. So you can't, uh, so do you not scuba dive unless I you I scuba can... dive. I still right. dive. But I just can't. You just have to look. Are you at the fly-in yet? Has Kurt got you up in the air yet? No, I'm, I'm flying. But you know, it's, it's funny because I got rid of my fear of flying because I had a horrible, horrible fear of flying. Mm -hmm. But since I've had the baby, I've had to fly twice and it's sort of come back. It's come back? Yeah, it's strange. you got to learn to fly. I can't, I don't know. It's too, too much for me. No, come on. Your it's pop's one of the your pop's me. one of the greatest flyers. Well, you know how it is. It, you really have to concentrate. I don't know if I can have my attention held you don't, that long. You, you have to concentrate when you're hunting lobsters. No, where you I, just breathe, and then well, you see tentacles, and you grab it and put it in your bag. When you're yeah. flying, you're just, you know there's turbulence, there's wind. You got to land the plane. Oh, the autopilot does all that. <laughs> all you need, all you need to be a good pilot is a decent magazine. And read. That's good. <laughs> Did you get your license yet? No, I still got a couple of things to do. But I've soloed the plane. That's amazing. Yeah, I know. That's a frightening. So how do you solo without a license? Um, you get a special endorsement. Oh, you do. From the ocean people. <laughs>
From the air people. The air people. The air people. We the air people, our <laughs> brothers and sisters in the ocean, have decided. How was that first solo? It was terrifying. Absolutely it must terrifying. have been, I can't even imagine. But very exhilarating as well. I think you'd like it because it feels like a, it's like a complete, uh, it's, it's breaking with the fear a little bit. Yeah, no, without and, a doubt. and that, that's a good thing. Oh, God. But I think you should be alone in the plane, man. Yeah, no, Landing right. the plane. Well, it's great, though, because when you're on your own, no one knows you're crying. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, so, or other things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be on the ground. <laughs> I regret this. Yeah. No, it was very, very nasty. I think you should do it. I've decided that you should do it. That's your next project. Okay. Before you come back here again, I would like you to solo an airplane. Oh, God, forget it. Yeah, yeah. I, no, no you, you have to. I think you should. You I'll, I'll pay for the ticket and I'll just fly. You know? Well, you don't have to solo a 757. I'm, I'm talking about a small... Yeah, you got the single engine. I got little... If that thing goes out, though, I don't know. Doesn't matter. What are you going to do? Fly a glider. That's... <laughs> That's what, they, that's what they teach you, right? That's what they teach you. Engine yeah, poops so, out. At just, a certain amount of feet, you can glide a certain amount of miles. That's right, that's it. It's kind of like, you know if you're underwater scuba diving and you run out of air, yeah. you're just going to go to the top? Well, you can't go too fast, so you get the we, bends and you right, die. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, but how many times have you heard of a plane that's gone out and actually glided to safety? It happens all the time. You just don't hear about it? Well, it's not news. Usually. Nothing happened at the airport today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And now here's the news. Everybody's all right. Nothing happened. Yeah. <laughs> you hear about a fiery crash. You don't hear about yeah, the Yeah, because that's safety. news. You know, but the, but it's not. I mean, if the engine... The it would be news if it happened to you, though. Oh, wait. Listen, if it happened to me, and I'd, I'd be on here like, oh, my God. <laughs> but I'm, I bet you, if I, the engine pooped out at me and I was in the airplane, I'd be thinking on the way down, if I live through this, this is right. going to be a great monologue. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Kurtz, Kurtz had some close calls. Yeah, Kurtz yeah, crashed yeah. planes. I, well, he never told me that before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really? Crashed a biplane. I am never, I am never getting up in a plane with him ever again. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, he's an amazing pilot. He's a great pilot. Yeah, he's a, he's, great he's pilot. a truly great pilot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll give him my best. It's I nice will. to see you. Good to see you too. And I'll see you next time with yeah. your solo endorsement. All right, maybe. All if right. I'm Oliver Hudson, everybody. People. We'll be right back. <laughs> Good night, everybody.